guys, um, so in this video I'm going to talk about fandoms. I had like a blog rant a while ago about music and fans and stuff, but this one is the fans that are bullies and don't like to admit that they're bullying people. Um, it was just recently, I follow Perez Hilton on Twitter, he's made a comment and like, I don't agree with the comment, but, like, it doesn't deserve everything he's getting because of the comment. He made a comment on Ariana Grande's hair and how, and her dress and how she needs to, like, switch it up or something. He even said after the fact that, um, like, he understands her hair situation, but he wishes that she could change it up. Like, isn't, but a lot of people wish that she would change up her hair. What makes me angry is, I, while I do understand, her fans are now harassing Perez Hilton, and they keep bringing his son into it, and that's not okay. I don't care if you don't like Perez Hilton. I don't agree with everything that he's ever done. But you never, ever ever send death threats, you never send insults, and you never insult his child. It pisses me off when fan bases decide that they're going to protect their favorite artist and belittle other people. There, you have no right no right at all to attack someone on the internet all in the name of your favorite artist. Because I'm pretty sure that your favorite artist does not want you attacking other people. I think it's really funny how hypocritical these people are because they say, oh, I'm against bullying, but they're doing it. They're bullying other people all in the name of their favorite artist. Like, I don't hate um, Ariana's fans. Well, most of them. I don't really hate them all. I dislike most of them because they are so rude. Maybe I'm just getting, like, maybe I'm just seeing the bad ones, but, like, I don't see how you can be a fan of someone and decide that, oh, hey, this person said something mean, so I'm gonna go be mean and call them all these names and say you should go kill yourself and all this stuff when you should never ever say that. I really don't care. It just makes me angry. I get really pissed off because it's like you don't know what you're doing to that person. You don't know this person's story. You don't know if this is the last straw for them. And what you say to someone on the internet never goes away. Like I just, I don't get what, and it's not just fandoms. It's girls and guys and people in general. They decide that they can be little people on the internet and it's all okay because it's not bullying. Like, I'm not hitting you, it's like, but your words hurt. Like, I don't care about that stick and stones may break, may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Um, no, words do hurt. And I think people need to get that and understand that and stop. Because it is not okay for you to decide hey, um, I'm going to go trash talk this person and I'm going to call her names and talk about her weight and her teeth and her body and just... I don't think you guys understand the consequences of what your actions can have. Different ways that this can affect this per the person that you are bullying is they can start cutting themselves which I I wish I could just help everyone with this problem and then if this is you if this is the last straw for them they can take their life I don't think you guys understand how many lives have been taken because of cyberbullying and this is what you're doing I don't care if it's to a celebrity or not you are bullying people. 
and you have no idea what goes on in their life because you are not their friend and you just don't know them. And even the thing with Acacia, Brinley, like people, they like call her slut all the time and it's horrible. I don't even know this girl. I've watched a few of her videos, but like I don't know her. And I don't really know her story or what happened or why people are doing this, but people are so rude to her. They get on her Twitter and they're calling her names, but like on her YouTube channel, people are just so rude. And it's like, you have no idea who she is. You don't know the truth about her. So why are you being so rude to this girl? Like she has done nothing to you. But even if she did do something to you, it still doesn't give you a right to call her names. Like, you have no idea what goes on at home for her. You have no idea what she does to herself. You don't, you just, you don't know. So, the moral of this, this video is to stop bullying people on the internet. Like, and I'm really, really passionate about this. I even wrote a paper on it for school on cyberbullying and the effects it can have. You guys, I don't think you understand. And I wish I could make you understand, but I don't think it's gonna stop. I don't, this, this entire topic pisses me off so much that it's so hard for me to talk, like, I get really passionate about it and then I get really, really angry and then I wanna cry because I've been on the receiving end of some of this and not it's not as bad as other people but even though it was just those few little comments on the internet it still sucks and it still hurts like <sighs> you guys are hiding behind your favorite artist that's what you are that's what you're doing and you guys are deciding hey I'm going to go attack this person all in the name of your favorite person. Like, I'm almost 100% positive that that person does not want you to fight their battles. And while fighting the battles, being incredibly harsh and rude to people. And that's all I'm going to get into because I could go forever on this topic. I'm writing a blog post, so I will... Uh, post my blog, my link to my blog down below. If you guys need any help, you can always talk to me. My links to my Twitter and my Instagram are down below on my Tumblr and stuff. You guys can always put stuff in my ask box. And if you guys need help, I'm here for you. Because I know how badly I wanted help when it happened, but I didn't say anything and it screwed me up and stuff and I don't want that to happen to you so if someone is being rude to you please tell someone um, if someone's bullying you please tell an adult or if you can't tell your parents please tell like a counselor or a teacher a professor even if you're in college um, call the the different hotlines um, but tell someone please Please tell someone. If you need to talk to me, I'm always here. And I'm always here to help. Okay. I love you guys. Bye.